Hey guys, it's Tommy here and welcome back to my channel and welcome to another park review or park spotlight, whatever you want to call these. Um, today's park is a Victory Legend Park and this was created by Jörg. Now I have spoken to Jörg uh, to try and get his, his name right, to make sure I pronounce it right. Uh, he is German um, so I believe with the help of Google Translate that is how you say it. So I do apologise Jörg if that isn't how you say your name. Um, and the description of the park uh, was written in German, so again, I've used Google Translate to see what, see what the description was. And it translates to a small, realistic, as good as it gets, built park with three themed areas and a shopping mall. Have fun in China, Legend, Victory, England and Vikings Village. Um, I mean, from <clears throat> just from the outsets here, you can see it's a very, uh, very busy park. There's so much going off. Um, it is at the build limit for console. Uh, for those of you interested and uh, yeah I mean I'm excited to see uh, to see what he's put into the park so um, something different from the usual entrance to the parks here we have a road going in so we'll take the road in rather than going into the spawn tunnel now obviously on console well on, on any planet coaster the guests don't actually use the cars and um, so this is just for decoration uh, so here obviously we've got a road Welcome and welcome in English. We've got the Planet Coaster statues here, followed by a car park. Got some signs here, parking place, parking place. Here we are, created by Jörg or, or, or Jörgi, I believe his, uh, his nickname is. Um, it's got the opening hours, so it opens at 9 a.m. and closes at 9 p.m. And over here, we've got some VIP spaces. Uh, you may recognise the names of a few, a few of these creators. These are some of the people that um, I've done reviews of their stuff. Um, some of the uh, some of the best stuff on the PS4 Workshop. So uh, yeah, you, you may you may recognise some of their names. Um, a lot of extremely talented creators there. Uh, there's the actual spawn tunnel where the guests come out of, um, and then they will just uh, appear through the wall here. Um, but obviously, to, to make it realistic looking, he's blocked that off, which I think looks fantastic. The, the road system, and I, I love these little banners here. I, it just looks really nice. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, the guests don't drive into the park. They do uh, They do just spawn there. As you can see, this couple walking through. Um, they will just walk through the wall here and into the entrance plaza. So, we have some ticket booths. Welcome to Victory Legend Park. Some very nice little decorated um, decorated plaza here with the with the planters and the little fencing going around it. Really nice, uh, really nice little detail. You've got entrance one, two, and three there. Again, uh, I, I love I love the symmetry. I love how I love how you know each one um, is a mirror image of the others. Uh, we'll go through entrance three today, I think. Uh, and then here you go. You've got Victory Legend Park. Uh, over here you've just got a toilet block in this little building uh, nice little fountain as well and you've got park information and fast line tickets and an advertising board and a first aid centre so yeah absolutely everything you need from a entrance plaza and again it just it just looks really nice um, it, it's got music playing the music works really well yeah just all around and Obviously, you get a view there of the coaster in the background, which I think looks really nice as well. So we shall go to the left and judging by the theming here, we've got China's Legends. So let's go. Uh, let's go into this section. So straight off, we've got a railway going through. Again, I, um, I reviewed uh, Thomas Freak's Hyde Park recreation, which had a railway going over the path. I think it looks really good. And then obviously he's got these he's put these warning signs down as well, which is a really nice sort of realistic touch to it. Uh, what have we got here? Be careful, train. <laughs> uh, we've got some uh, we've got a hat stall. It's a very uh, very busy train station. There's a lot of guests coming out of there. And there we are. Look, there's the uh, there's the train jam packed. There's an announcement going off. Um, so yeah, very uh, very nice train station. Obviously, he's using the uh, using the Chinese um, and Asian style buildings from the World's Fair pack, which always look fantastic. Really nicely, uh, really nicely themed. We've got a souvenir shop, Red Dragon. 
uh, we'll have a look in here. It's the on-ride photo. So that that's the ride exit. So I will uh, we'll go through that when we come off. So the train is called Victory Express. Balloons. And I want to try and get onto this coaster really. Uh, let's zoom out a little bit and we'll go around this way. Follow this path. So this is the other entrance back to the park. We've got a toilet block here. Again, be careful train. Again, I, I love how the train interacts with, with the path. I, I, I've said it before, I'd, I'd love it if you could put a, a proper crossing in so the guests would stop, but unfortunately not. Uh, Red Dragon, China's Condor, Victory England, Black Knight, and Mi Mitalata Mark, I think, is that how you say it? Uh, we'll keep going, around the, uh, keep going around this way. There's the station to this coaster. I feel as though I'm leaving China there. So here's the uh, here's the entrance to a red dragon. Some uh, nice use of the statues there. The, uh, even the staff members dressed all in red. Wow, I, I love I love the planting going over the uh, going over the top there. That's really uh, you know it's, it makes you really feel in, you know part of it. You've got a nice cattle pen queue line. Oh, got a bit of a fast pass queue, so we'll we'll join that. And we'll go around the edge, back into here, and then we'll join the queue and go up here. Excuse me, coming through. Right, so we have got oh, not bad. That's, we've got Red Dragon, uh, which is a giga coaster. Uh, there are the stats, fantastic stats for a coaster. Green across the board. There's the G forces, tad high on the vertical, but not massively um so uh, yeah we will we'll hop on and uh, see what this is like we'll uh, we'll go we'll go on the uh, we'll on this train so that we get the uh, get the full experience so let's let's just speed it up till this uh, this train starts to leave three here we go right let's go Really, a really, really good coaster. That it keeps a nice speed all the way throughout. There's not, you know, there's not anything too uh, too drastic. I want to see why the G-force is so high. I want to see which parts uh, make that go a little bit higher. Um, no, not live data. Previous one. Ah, so it's there. That's that's where it is on that first that first drop. I think. Other than that, there's a little bit on this bend here. But that first drop, maybe it's too, because of the speed it's going down and then goes back up, it's a bit too steep so sudden. But again, it's not, it doesn't register on the on the excitement scale. The, the stats are green across the board, so it's really not something to worry about in the game. Um, it's just if you were going on that in real life, you wouldn't want it to be that high, that's all. But yeah, it looks absolutely fantastic. Um, I missed this waterfall actually on the uh, on the entrance. That's, that's a nice little, uh, nice little effect. Uh, I missed that going in the fast pass. See, it's not, it doesn't always pay off to go on the fast pass queue. Um, so yeah, that is that was Red Dragon. Nice, uh, nice start to the coasters. And we shall go around here. We've got uh, there's, that's the balloon store we were at. We've got a uh, nice little parasol um, flat ride just here. A very busy ride. Uh, a lot of people want to, want to go on that. China Sun. Oh, I wonder why there's a crowd around here. This geezer's here. Look. Making everyone laugh. Uh, so let's carry on. 
China Garden Tour. Ooh. Go through, uh, go through this nice decorated queue line. It's a vintage cars ride. We shall, uh, is it just a circuit or is it going a bit more? Oh no, it, it goes over like a bridge and then goes back down. Really, really nice decorated garden. I love, the, I love this little uh, statue bit here. That looks really nice. And then the, the planting is done, um, done in a nice manner to make it. It's not too repetitive. It just, it just fits right. Um, yeah, really, uh, really busy ride that is. A lot of people, uh, a lot of people clearly like that. So uh, yeah, top, top job on that. A lot of this planting. This is my, this is my favourite piece of, of planting. Is this uh, scavola? Um, because it, it just it just looks so good anywhere you put it. Um, if you just want to make the ground look a little bit different, um, it just it just works so well. And you can stick it anywhere. You can stick it like, you know, stick it onto rocks. Stick it. Um, and even earlier when we was in the queue and it was on the it was on the top, it just yeah it just works so well. Um, right, we're going to Vikings Village next. So let's. Uh, See what's on offer around here. I might just use the different camera mode just to get everything right. Uh, so we've got a hot dog stand. Yep, hot dogs. Nice little seating area. Grill steaks. Gulpy. Nice little shopping in, uh, and food area. There, nice and very, very realistic sort of uh, sort of layout at the side of side of an attraction, but not in the way of like where people would be queuing. Uh, so that's the exit to what appears to be a wooden coaster. Oh, what have we got here? Loki's fluke, fluke, Loki's fluke, which is a uh, which is a spinning flat ride like that. Uh, and we shall go down here to Valhalla or Valhalo, however you want to pronounce it. Uh, this is the this is the queue line again, nicely decorated. It's got the bushes here to break it up a little bit. It's one of these quite realistic cattle pen queue lines, and then you go up. That's a really nice station layout. You you see, you tend to find this a lot in real life parks. You have these like wooden beams going across, rather than just having like a flat roof. Um, so this works really well. I mean, you can see, you know that. It's in all individual pieces uh, being put together there to make it. So yeah, you've got to appreciate the uh, the time it took to get that right, and it, it just looks fantastic for it. Um, so we shall hop on to the coaster. No, nope, don't don't want to look at Bernadine. We want to get on the coaster, which is a, it's a standard wooden coaster. Again, green across the board. Really good at getting those stats up high. Uh, G forces are G forces are fine. Maybe lateral is a little bit high. Lateral, you want to aim about three, and vertical about six. So, yeah, lateral maybe a tad high, but not nothing to worry about really. Um, so yeah, we will hop on and see what uh, see what this is like. Plant we have thirty thousand guests. Wow, busy ride. Let's hop on into train two and see what this ride is like. Really nice little circuit that nothing nothing too massive for a wooden coaster wooden coasters traditionally tend to be like really tall with big drops because obviously they don't have any inversions they tend to be um sort of big big structures and lots of big hill climbs and drops to get a lot of air time but that that layout works really well it's a bit you know a bit, a bit of a back and forth layout like that and it, work, it works really well so it's got the uh, it's got the pirate ship crashed in the middle which is a nice piece of decoration the, the only the only part of the ride I 
so I noticed um, a little bit, uh, probably potentially be altered, is this corner here. This felt a little bit sharp. And I imagine if we get the um, get the lateral g-force up, I imagine, yeah, this bend you see is purple um, for for that corner. So I imagine that is uh, that is one that's causing it, and then this corner here. Um, but again, nothing. You know, it's not it's not that big. Uh, you know, you're gonna have some g-force on there. So yeah, I can't really uh, can't really fault that whatsoever. It's uh, just is a perfect coaster and it fits nicely in the corner of this park here so we shall go out of the exit down here that's the flat ride we saw earlier and we're crossing that railway line again be careful train <laughs> Odin's fall tower oh is this it See that, that that's nice having the having the base for the drop tower coming out of it like that. I think that looks for, I think that looks really nice. Um, the nice little wooden structure with the windows on. Um, I'm trying to look what this what this structure is actually. What piece is that? So it's the interior of a haunted house and it it, 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 it actually works really well to be fair around the uh, around the those two sides. So that, yeah, they are only on those two sides, aren't they? But yeah, no, that, that works really well. I think drop towers look look good from afar when they're dropping back into a base and they don't just like they're not just outside. I think that always improves a drop tower. They're very hard to get into a park and theme properly. Um, but no, he's done a good job there. Uh, only for staff. So he's got a nice little staff room building there. There we go. We shall go by uh, what have we got here blue thunder I think I just want to make sure I'm not missing out on anything uh, yeah we'll, we'll go we'll go down to blue thunder now so uh, we'll go down the normal queue this time rather than the fast pass got a lot of uh, cattle pen queues oh I'm completely lost here hang on I, uh, I jumped too far ahead. <laughs> Go through here. Back through that way. And, oh. I've completely messed up the controls there. There we go. And we're in. <laughs> it's got, uh, oh, they, these are like, these are for baggage and rucksacks and, and bags and stuff, so you can't take them on the ride. Which is really nice. It's got um, what is it? He's like, yeah, I, I an iron firebox. It's just got like some industrial machines there. It's got some nice music going off. It's a really, really good little setting in here. It's got the wheels and the chains on the wall. Um, so the coaster itself is a launched vector coaster. <laughs> Again, I mean, he's he's really really good at building coasters none of the stats have been outside of green yet so uh, it clearly takes some time getting the coasters right um, again g-force a little bit high but as, as i keep saying it doesn't affect the ratings up here so that all, all i mentioned that for is if this was real life you wouldn't be able to withstand that amount of g-force on a coaster that that's that's all i'm saying that's all i'm saying that for but you know the stats up here are what, gonna, are what is going to get guests onto the ride, so that's all that matters really. So we will go on and see what this is like. Blue Thunder. Perfect, and I, I love the uh, I love the color the color scheme on this as well. 
it, it's like a, it's blue with a hint of purple, isn't it? Um, I know it's obviously called Blue Thunder. Um, but yeah, no, really good layout, nice inversions. It obviously interacts with its own, with its own track. It actually goes out, you know, goes out over the path here. Goes on, under the path and then back over the path. Really, really nice layout. So, uh, yeah, I can't, uh, can't really uh, fault that one either. It, uh, you know, you've seen from the stats, he's a really good coaster builder. Everything is in the green. So we, uh, just before I lose my bearings, uh, where was the entrance to blue? Here we go, blue thunder. So we'll go down this path for now, so we don't miss anything. So that's, it. So that's the. So now we're back outside of Vikings Village. You see here, you could you could stand there a lot and watch the coaster come down. That, and it's such a nice view. It's such a nice view. Go through uh, go through here. What have we got here? China Condor, which is one of these uh, one of these flat rides that takes you up into the air. All of his queues, all of his rides are really busy. So they're, they're laid out in a very clever way to get people onto them. And I love that the bushes all surround this. It is, I mean, it's so heavily themed with bushes that that ride, you know, does feel like it's separated, but it kind of feels like you would, would get in a normal park. You'd kind of walk through the trees and then you find this ride and then you'd carry on. Uh, so then we're back at Red Dragon. So then we, I think we will go over to Victory England. Right, what have we got over here? So this looks like a, uh, a ye old England style, uh, style area. Uh, I'm not going to mispronounce that, that again. <laughs> really, uh, well, th well, this is a very nice very nice area I mean look at look at the scenery around this chair swing it just the whole thing just looks really really nice nice use of the pat nice use of the patterned walls um, very nice use of the of the Union Jack flag victory legend park you got the shops down there what we got in here you've got a, got a fortune teller and a cash machine to get people going in there you've got all the shops look Monsieur Fritz Professor Verse, Gulpi. Really nice area. And then the queue line is obviously built into this. And I love the fact that the path is all underneath. And so the surface here is um, is just the, a concrete flat roof. The path is obviously built underneath the, uh, the roof. So if you take away that, you can see the queue line path there and that's where it starts. And, but the fact that it blends in like that and the guests go through this fence here it just looks it just looks really nice um, and really you know really realistic as well so yeah really uh, really nice to see so we've got a first aid building as well nice nice use of planters and benching and again there's so much, so many different trees down here uh, we'll go out this way where we've got part of the track going over Assuming this is the coaster in the England section. What have we got in here? The on-ride photo at the exit of that ride. And we'll go here to a big victory. Right. Uh, we'll go down to the normal queue. Down here and go up into this tunnel where we have a queue line dropping down here. I mean, look look at that for a station building. That just looks brilliant. The Union Jacks, the use of this, you know, this sort of foliage hanging down. Uh, you got this like ivy hanging off the ceiling here. You've got these like statues on this balcony up here. You've got the you got the luggage bit. Everything in here just just looks so, again, so realistic, so authentic um, for this sort of style of building, a, a ye old England style. So what sort of coaster have we got here then? 
we've got a another wooden coaster another another wooden the monster and another coaster three i mean i've i don't think i've been in a park yet where every single coaster has got um green across the board it's so uh, so good uh lateral g-force bit high verticals absolutely fine um and there's the rest of the stats if you're interested so we shall hop on and see what big victory is like whenever and even the operator is built into her own little cabin which again ni nice little realistic touch so yeah let's see what big victory is like That, that made me jump. I wasn't expecting that as I came in there. You got these, you got these wooden beams here that just collapse as you as you come through the track there. I don't know whether you noticed that, but uh, yeah, that, that made me jump as I was watching that coming through. Um, really, uh, really good coaster. You can see the uh, you can see the layout of it up here. Um, goes you know goes around it goes around um, and interacts with a lot of different areas. It obviously loops underneath the uh, Blue Thunder ride and. Again, is he? Um, yeah, he's put he's put these steps in there, look, to uh, to be you know realistic with it. You can see they're they're not part of the track, so yeah, nice uh, nice realistic touch there. So you can see if obviously maintenance were coming in, they would use that. But um, yeah, really uh, really nice to see that. So by the looks of it, is that yeah we, yeah? There's another coaster in in this England bit. So before we finish off. Uh, I'll tell you what, we'll go to the shopping mall first and then we'll finish on this coaster right back near the entrance. So, ooh, where was the entrance to this? This was over, I want to say, it's down here somewhere, isn't it? That's, um, that's Blue Thunder. Here's the entrance, there we go, big victory. And if we walk on the back of here, I'm assuming this is the shopping mall, which on first viewing here just looks so, it looks so pretty and so, you know, it, it just catches your eye, doesn't it, straight away. The the trees and the colours, the water in the middle, ev everything here just looks really nice. The buildings, the flower beds, you've got all these different, you've got different shops in here that people are walking into and, and using. You've got a restaurant, toilets, souvenir shop. It's like a show band, the barbershop quartet. Um, and then you, again, just a whole range of shops here. And to be fair, a lot of guests are coming back here to, uh, you know, to come and have a look at this section, which is really nice to see as well. So you've got a nice little, uh, nice little entrance to it. Victory Legend Park Shopping Mall. Some nice fountains either side. But yeah, I, I just think as you come through that and you look at it, it just looks so nice. And I've not seen anyone put a shopping mall in. Obviously, people have put buildings where there's shops in, but not a specific designated area for shopping. So, uh, yeah, nice, unique little touch. A little Venetian carousel. This is probably the only ride in the park that hasn't got a busy queue. Um, but again, that, that kind of fits in this back corner anyway. Um, and that's the drop tower where we were at earlier. So we shall leave the shopping mall now. Say bye bye to these guys. And we will head over to the final ride of the park. So if we go th follow this path through over here, I want to find the entrance to it first, which is just here. 
souvenir shop. So this is Black Knight, it's the entrance. And again, you got the staff member here, dressed all in black. I like the fact that he's put he's put these doors on. Obviously, what on Planet Coaster when you put an entrance queue, you have the little metal cylinders that kind of show you where the ride starts or the queue line starts. He's used the doors to block that, so it looks a really genuine entrance because they do kind of stand out like a sore thumb. There they are, look, they're, they're the other side, but because you can't see them, it it looks it looks great. So uh, yeah, we'll go through here. Got a, uh, got a fast pass queue, which I think we'll use this time. She's just going on the, the outside here. Nice big cattle pen queue line with a lot of decoration. And we've got a pathway up here. Keep going around. It's a very long queue line. There we go, that's the end of the fast pass. And we are into the station. So again, we've got a bit for baggage in a different layout this time. We've got a load of cobwebs on this bookcase. Um, obviously, it's called Black Knight, so there is uh, there is the set, there is the night we uh, we are talking about. Nice use of the chandeliers here as well. Really nice, uh, really nicely themed building. The coaster is an infinite coaster. Uh, I mean, it's no surprise now, is it? That this, it's all green. All the stats are green. Uh, and we'll look here, lateral g-force is a bit high, vertical is fine, um, and there's the rest of them if you are interested. But other than that, we shall hop on to the final ride of the park, which is Black Knight. As you can see, here's the, uh, is the train just pulling in. We will uh, we'll hop in, and hopefully, um, hopefully it won't be too long before we, uh, we're allowed to leave. There's not many guests queuing up for this, which is why I'm uh, wondering if we're going to be sat here for a little bit. Speed it up. There we go. Through the gate. Oh, hello. That, that looks brilliant. I mean, the, I've, I've not seen, I don't think I've seen on any of the park reviews I've done, people use the lighting like that, where they set it to trigger on the, um, on the, tra on, you know, on the track. When the train comes through, it turns the building darker. I just want to see that again. Because that looked that look really good. That took me by surprise, that did. There's a, uh, uh, I, don't, I don't think it will show me without actually being on the ride. Um, but yeah, with, I mean, you saw, you saw there at the start when you're climbing the hill that it, um, you know, it turns all purple inside until you burst out. I don't think uh, riding this at night would have changed much. Um, obviously, you've got the lighting in there that's purple. You've got a couple of purple lights around here. Um, but uh, yeah, that that was that was fantastic the way that lighting worked in there. Really, really nice effect. So yeah, that is, I believe. Uh, if we head back to the main entrance, that is pretty much um, this park. There's the train station again. Got some more Chinese restaurants, and we are back at the main entrance. So yeah, that was uh, Victory Legend Park. Um, very, very good park. In, I mean, insanely good coasters. You saw they were green across the board. Um, I mean, I can't, I can't really fault the park in any way whatsoever. As I say, the, the only, the only thing maybe to look at is, is the G-force, but that's if you sort of want to be realistic to the person watching it, as opposed to 
the, the in-game stuff. If you want to get people on the ride in the game, then it's always about the green stats. So yeah, can't really, uh, can't really fault the coasters at all. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please leave a like uh, and subscribe if you're new. And if you've got a park or coaster you want me to look at, then uh, send me the details and I will. Um, and other than that, I shall see you in the next episode. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.